बोले वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की राधा रानी की शिव सपरम सरकार की
over five sessions now. Today, hopefully, this fifth session will be the last for this person. <coughs> There's much more even then. The verse literally say, as those who have been following, remember, Sojana hi sadhana hai Govind Radhe. Thinking. Sojana means thinking. Thinking he alone is practical, spiritual practices. Sadhana. And bar bar sochana hi. Thinking again and again. Only he again. Only by thinking again and again. Hari de ilade. We will attain Hari Shri Krishna God. That is literally. <coughs> Yesterday I explained sadhana, difference between sadhana bhakti and siddha bhakti. Sadhana bhakti, what we have to do? Preliminary devotion, which is important for making the path to the vessel, for receiving that Siddha bhakti or perfect. So two types of bhakti, one sadhana bhakti, one siddha bhakti. What devotion we have to do? Sadhana. And what we are going to attain through the grace of a rustic saint, what was attained? That supreme, perfect, divine love for Radha Krishna himself. Through his grace, we will, he will be given the siddha bhakti. Perfect devotion. But first we have to make a vessel for that, for receiving that. In other words, the heart, the mind has to be made pure, divine. This is why we do that's why we do sadhana. And sadhana means only thinking. From the first day, we have gone into detail. The mind alone is the performer of the action, not the sense organs. God does not note what we do with the physical sense organs, the hand, the feet, the mouth, the eyes, the ears, the nose, etc. These are helpers and we should use them, utilize them. This is why Bhagavan has given them to us, the hand, the feet, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, etc. To help. But the main thing is the mind. Mind alone does sadhana, bhakti. And <coughs> by thinking again and again. Whether it's in the material world or in the spiritual world. Thinking again and again makes our mind attached, fall in love, become addicted, etc. Bhagavan Krishna says in Gita, Dhyayato Vishayam Punsa Sangas Deshu Pajayate Sangas Jati Kama Kama Krodho Vijayate Chapter 2, verse 62, Gita. Very important. The first line. Dhyayato Vishaya Kunsa Sangas Deshu Pajayate. By thinking again and again. Look, I explained before, we all want only happiness. In a fraction of infinite happiness, Sri Krishna, it's our nature to want only happiness. 
So when we, the decision comes in our mind that some person or object or entity is the source of that happiness, we start thinking about that person or object again and again. Of course, being ignorant from beginning less time, we've always been looking in the world, the world with people and objects. That's why not even a dream, you've attained even the tiniest drop of true happiness, even once, even a dream. So thinking again and again, when we think again and again, that we'll get happiness, we'll attain happiness in any person or object, we get touched. Examples have been given before. <coughs> Nobody becomes a chain smoker overnight. We're not born chain smokers or alcoholics or druggies. In our childhood, in our youth, we saw someone smoking. A friend, family, mother, father, somebody, peer, and we thought it's a sign of uh, being big, grown up, gentleman, lady, and that person must be given happiness. So we decided to try. On smoking that first cigarette, we, we choked, we coughed and almost choked in it. It burns the throat. But we keep smoking. Because the decision is there, I will find happiness. Until eventually, we become a chain smoker. It keeps pinching, smoke me, smoke me, smoke me. Same thing, coffee, tea, Coca-Cola. We get addicted to these things. Some people don't get a Coca-Cola, oh. They don't get a, a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. The whole day I can't do anything. The same thing with alcohol. Nobody is born an alcoholic. Again, we see others drinking, etc. Yes, friends, family. We decide to try a little drink also. So we hide and take a little drink. And the head spin a little bit. Now, we are a little bit bigger and we, if we have friends and they go to the club. Long ago, only, mostly boys used to go to clubbing. Raksha club. We have much club, Raksha. Later on club game, but even then, mostly boys, men. Nowadays, ladies are going more. Girls, ladies. So you decide to go to the club, go clubbing every Friday and you drink. Then that's not enough, now every Monday and Friday. Then after a while, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, then every day. Now you're not going. A boy see a girl, a girl see a boy. A decision comes. In the mind, this is the boy who will make me happy, this is the girl. People say, I just fell in love. Nobody falls in love. Is this, is it fall in love? The boy and the girl, you see somebody, boy or girl, and now this girl see girl also, boy see boy also. And the decision come. This person is going to make me happy. Very subtle, you don't even know. That's why we think I just fell in love. People are looking for soulmate. This is the thing nowadays, soulmate. What is a soulmate? A friend of myself, the soul. In other words, someone who will make me happy. That's all. I didn't find it here, I find it somewhere. 
Get rid of this slot, get the next slot, next slot, next yes. slot. Keep changing. Long going in Sanatan Thar, Hinduism. Once you get married only once, that was it. There was no divorce, anything. No matter what happened, you, you die, whatever, once only. <laughs> Nowadays, of course, in Western culture it was different. Something happened, you could divorce and get married again. Sometimes somebody gets married 10 times, 20 times in their life. And so, even in India now, we have become so westernized, so everybody's getting divorced. I'm looking for soulmate, somebody to make me happy. So the decision comes, this is the boy, this is the girl, and suddenly you're thinking again and again, this is the girl, this is the boy. You think it again and again, think it, think it, think it. And that becomes so absorbed in the mind, that girl, that boy, everything else in the world becomes tasteless. You don't want food anymore. Can't sleep. Food does not taste nothing. All we thinking about that boy, that girl. We fell in love. And you get married, etc. Few days you're happy. After a while, when you come to the point you want to know to even see that person in front of you, wish you would go and die or you want to kill them yourself. And we keep this will happen if we have done it at uncomfortable times, uncomfortable lifetimes, this lifetime, but we still think. Ah, this is somebody who made me happy. There has to be that ignorance. The person, the boy is thinking this girl is going to make me happy, and the girl is thinking the boy is going to make me happy, and none of them has happiness to give. None of them has it. And what's going to happen? A big problem. As long as the boy or the girl does what the other one wants, I love you. I will die for you. And the day that person doesn't do what the other one wants, or doesn't listen, or maybe he's look at somebody else, that's why I will die for you, not going to kill you. All worldly affection, love is based on selfishness, our own desire for our own happiness. Jati ka chunij swarat hoi, ta par mamta kar sab koi, sur nar muni sab kai ahari ti, swarat lagi kar sab kri. The moment selfishness is fulfilled, Swat Lagi, I love you. No selfish, no, there's no idea of selfish gain that doesn't seem I'm going to get anything. Love comes to an end, and if that selfish gain is hard, I hate you, I will kill you. This is a divine law. Shankar Bhagavan is said to Parvati. It's a divine law. So he's thinking again and again. That's all. <coughs> Why do we think again and again? Why do we think again and again that some personal object in the world is going to make me happy? Because we all want happiness. And because of ignorance, because we have forgotten that we are the soul Atma, number one. Number two, that the happiness I'm looking for to find only in Sri Krishna, because Sri Krishna is happiness, not having that knowledge, we keep looking in the world. Look, this, this, this 
desire for happiness, to want happiness, no one can destroy. Neither God, nor a saint, nor a human being, nor actions. Because we are a fraction of eternal happiness, it's our nature to want only happiness. Everything we do in the world is for our own happiness. If we keep looking in the world, if that decision knowledge doesn't sit in the internet, we confirm it there. Now this is not wrong to want happiness. But until the knowledge doesn't come in our intellect and sit in there, that happiness I'm looking for, I will find only in Adharani, only in Sri Krishna. We will keep looking in the world. And keep rotating in 8.4 million forms of life. This decision to change that decision in the mind that there is no happiness in the material world, in any person or object, and the happiness I'm looking for, I will find only in Sri Krishna, is impossible for the world you saw. Impossible. To make a decision by ourselves. Only, listen carefully, only when we associate with a true Rasik saint, one who has attained a divine love himself of Radha Krishna. For some time in the right way, then through the grace of that Rasik saint, the knowledge will come. Knowledge will come and sit in our intellect. Guru will shower his grace. This is why Tulsidasi says, in the very beginning of the Ramayana, in glorifying the saint, he says, Vino Sattva Sangha Vivekana Hoi Rama Kripa Vino Sulabhana Soi Sat, the son, Sat, saint, one who is the day that infinite divine knowledge, divine bliss of Radha Krishna. Sat, association. Only when we associate with the true saint, the true guru, in the right way, will we acquire a true knowledge. The knowledge of who we are, the knowledge of who is God, the knowledge of where I'm going to find true happiness, etc. Then that knowledge will come and sit in the internet. Then we will no longer look in the material world. Otherwise, we'll keep looking. And how are we going to get that association? Rama Kripa, Vino Sulabhana Sohi, when God will shower his grace. Later on in the Ramayana, in Uttar Khan, Bhagwan Sri Ram is given lecture. He says, Bhakti Swatantra Sakala Sukha Khani Vinu Sattva Sangha Napavai Prani He says, Bhagwan Sri Ram says, Bhakti Divine love, divine happiness, bhakti, divine love, sorry, is the storehouse of all happiness. It is independent, free. Bhakti doesn't require the help of any, any other part. <coughs> Yad, God, Yo, nothing. And it's the storehouse of all happiness. But without the association, of one who has attained that bhakti itself, Venu Sattva Sat, no soul can attain that, that bhakti. And how are we going to get the association of a saint? The next verse. The same Ramayana, Sri Ram says first, only 
people that they associate with the true saint, one who has attained that bhakti himself, will attain that bhakti. And the next chaupa he says, Punya Punya Pinu Milahina Santa Santa Sangati Sanshriti Kada Anta. Well, we have performed great devotion in many, many lifetimes. And it has accumulated in a huge amount. Punj. God showers his grace and be able to meet the saint, son. Or Santa Sangati, Sanshitikar Anta. And that association, only when we associate with such a saint, our attachment for the material world will finish and we will become attached to God. Without the attachment from the material world, nobody can love Bhagawan. You cannot love the world and love God at the same time. Bhagawan asks foolishness. I, I love my papi, love this, I love my Muruka, my papi here. Yeah. I love Krishna too. <laughs> Impossible, we have only one mind. With that one mind, either you love God or you love the world. You can't have both. Somehow it can't get in our head. Of course, we have to keep satsang. That's why satsang is so important. Keep going, keep coming, keep coming. You can't do it by yourself. I have to stay home. I don't have to go I am good enough. I don't have to go away. I have attained everything, I know everything, man. Alright, that's good. Maharaji says that overconfidence, that's abhiman, pride, is very dangerous. That will fall. Many souls have attained 99%, 99.9%, 99.9%, and they fell. My so powerful. Don't challenge. Don't think I, I, I don't have this overconfidence. I don't need anybody. I can stay home alone. Yeah, that's all right. But soon you'll be, you'll be full into my army. You lose everything. Guaranteed you lose everything. So, when that knowledge will come, that the happiness I'm looking for, I will find only in Sri Krishna. So just as in the world, when we have a decision in the mind because of ignorance, that I will get happiness from some personal object in the world, now when the knowledge comes in our intellect, firmly, that happiness I'm looking for, I will find only in Sri Krishna, I will start thinking only about Sri Krishna. Again, like, Bhagavan Krishna says to Udho, Vishaya Dhyā Tashtitam Vishaye Shubhi Sajjate Mamanusma Tashtitam Mayeva Praviliyate Bhagat Mahapuran 11th Kanto 14th Chapter 27 Verse <coughs> Shri Krishna is saying to Udho, just as when people in the world, because of ignorance, they think again and again that they can find happiness in any personal object in the world, and they get attached, they fall in love, and they attain that personal object. In the same way, Udho, if someone has acquired the knowledge, the happiness they are looking for, they will find only in me, is Sri Krishna, and they think about me again and again, they get attached to me, to Sri Krishna, and they ultimately attain me. The method is the same, the way of practice is the same, and the result is the same. 
What is the result? The heart melts. And we attain that for which the heart melts. If our heart melts for the world, we keep attaining the world as we've been doing for an uncountable lifetime. Rotating in 8.4 million forms of life. If it melts for Sri Krishna, Radha Rani, he said, we'll attain Radha Krishna, we'll go to Guru. Very clearly, Sri Krishna is making it. In the Gita also, Sri Krishna says, Yam Yam Vapi Smaram Bhavam, Tyajat Yate Kalevaram, Tam Tame Vaiti Kaunteya, Sadat Bhava Bhavita. Chapter 8, verse 6, Gita. When the life leaves the body, the moment the life leaves the body, whatever we remember at that time, that's what we are going to attain or become in the next lifetime. And what are you going to remember when death comes, when the life is going to leave the body? Whatever we love, wherever our mind is attached, don't think your whole life you're attached to the world, to the dog, the donkey, the cat, the parrot, your child, your children, your husband, your wife, your parent, and at the last moment you will think about Sri Krishna. Impossible. Whatever you're attached to, whatever the mind is attached to, whatever you love, that's what you're going to remember. If we are attached to Sri Krishna, we love Sri Krishna. Antatale chamaneva smaran muktva kalevaram ya prati samadhava yati nasatya sanshaya Chapter 8 verse 5 Gita At the last moment, Antatale, if someone remembers me, Sri Krishna, when the life leaves the body, they remember Sri Krishna. Smaran, Mameva Smaran means remember. <coughs> then what will happen? That person will suddenly go to Sri Krishna. There's no doubt about that. And how are we going to remember Sri Krishna? Only when we fall in love with him. And how are we going to fall in love with him? When we think again and again, bar, 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 bar. That happiness I'm looking for, I will find only in Sri Krishna, because Sri Krishna is happiness. So the sadhana is only thinking. Of course, we need to have the association of a true rustic saint, one who's attained a divine. Bhakti divine love for Radha Krishna himself. When we associate with such a saint, we'll acquire true knowledge. But, ah, we have to do Agya Palan again and again. I keep mentioning this. Uncountable lifetimes we have met saints. God in their satsang. Do bhajan and kirtan, seva, everything. But we refuse to follow the instruction. Agya paru nahi kiya. We did manumani. I said, beautiful bhajan. Jagat Guru Tampi Paru Mahaprabhu wrote in the Premas Madhira. Dwar. Patit ik ayuri kishori radhe. A devotee said to Radha Rani, O oh Radha Rani, I, a most sinful soul, have come to your door. What is the line after? Santan kayo neku. But 
We never listen to the instruction of Guru or the saint. Not even a little bit. Always we have done manabhayo, manamahi. We listen to our mind. We follow our mind. Even though Sri Krishna is telling us in Gita, all the scriptures are telling us, Guru is telling us, our greatest enemy is our own mind. Don't listen to it. We keep listening. And we never listen to the instruction or follow instruction of Guru. And how can we get Guru Kripa? The condition for Guru Kripa is Adya Palan. Adya Palan Susayuka Seva. In order to get Guru Kripa, grace of Guru, we have to do Agya Palan, we have to follow his instruction. There's no if and but about this. As I said, there's much, much more. We'll hear some other time. Bhule Vrindavan Vihari Lal Ki Jai Srimad Sadguru Sakar Ki Jai Radha Rani Ki Jai 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 Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe Jai Jai